Fear AGP is here, you feel me, with another walkthrough. Um, this one's gonna be Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered. Now, I've already put up some parts of the Liberation if y'all wanna check that out too. But of course, I gotta do the main game as well because Connor's actually my dude. And if you haven't watched the other ones, you know, I was telling people that I think Assassin's Creed 3 needs a little bit more respect. I think it's a little underrated. Um, I think the combat system got 10 times better in this, and um, you know. We about to check this out. See how this goes. Remastered. <laughs> All right, y'all. Let's get into this with the quickness. Single player, the tyranny of King Washington. I gotta do that too, so I might have to just <laughs> put up like all three, but let's do this. Start a new game, of course. No, we're gonna do Connor one, although I really wanna remember how to pronounce his real name. Raton Hageton, something like that. It's something like that. I'm going to figure it out though one day. Y'all going to hear me Used say Used to be it. when people talked about oh, the end of the world, we, we locked them up. Or laughed them off. Sometimes both. But we never took them seriously. Maybe we should have. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Better to start at the beginning with the abduction of Desmond Miles, my son. This boy had no ambition, no direction, no plans for the future. What he did have was a heritage, one he chose to deny. It nearly cost him his life. He was captured and imprisoned. Those who took him believed he could help them find something. The apple. One of several artifacts we call pieces of Eden. Bits of ancient technology scattered across the globe. Some hidden, some found, all of them dangerous. Most are held by a single group, the same group that now had Desmond. You know them as Abstergo Industries. We know them as the Templars, as the enemy. We've been fighting them for thousands of years, even longer if you believe the stories of their origins. I do. After all, I've seen the truth. That's the beauty and the horror of the Animus. A device that allows us to enter and experience the lives of our ancestors. It holds the power to change everything, to show us history the way it really happened. Up until its creation, to the victor went the spoils, went the truth. We're trying to fix that, to free minds and bodies both. But there's only so much that we can do, and the Templars have the upper hand these days. But something larger than the Assassins and Templars is approaching, bigger than all of us. And if we can't find a way to stop it, these next few weeks will probably be our last. Everyone's last. In the end, it all comes down to him. To Desmond. Through the Animus, he discovered his heritage, explored the lives of his ancestors, and uncovered their secrets. When that was done, he trained. He used another ancestor to provide decades of experience in the span of a few days. It worked. We think. We hope. Soon, though, soon we'll know that ominous date fast approaches, December 21st, 2012. None of us knows what it'll bring, only that this is where they want us to be when it does. They've been guiding us in their own fractured, frustrating way. These voices from the first civilization, the ones who came before, a precursor race of immense power and uncertain motives. They're the ones who made the pieces of Eden. This is where they've led him, and through him, us. He stands at the entrance to this long lost place, armed with the knowledge of Altair and the abilities of Ezio. He holds in his hands the apple of Eden, and we stand at his side, ready to support him, however we can. His name is Desmond Miles, and he has brought us to the end.
Well, y'all, yeah, I'm cast to be back in the saddle of my man Desmond. I just want to say RIP to my homie because, yeah, they did him dirty. Desmond's such a cool yo. I don't know. I just don't know why they they, they, they ended this We're game here. the way they ended it. This way I know the graphics looked really beautiful on the PS3 version. This looks even better. This lit. Desmond's gangster. Let's go. Oh my goodness. Flashbacks. I'm trying to remember how many times uh, I beat this one. It was probably two or three times. <laughs> I used to play so much Assassin's Creed it was absurd. The first one I beat like five or six times. No, I'm not even lying. Like, uh, the second one I beat probably like three times. Um, Maybe four, actually. Yeah, Brotherhood was like twice. It's getting real already. In another moment, down went Alice after it, never once considering how in the world she was to get out again. Up shop. I miss seeing all these folks except for his dad. His dad was kind of a dick, but <laughs> everybody else was cool. Well, he was a dick too, but no, I can't remember his name right now. I think we're here. So. Oh yeah, sliding. I'm trying to remember if at the beginning of this we're gonna have to like climb around to get to some. This is different. Y'all ever tried that with a puzzle? You just, <laughs> or a rock, you just put it in something, lights a whole freaking cave up. Ain't that something? Rebecca, there it is, and, and uh, yeah. Sean, right? What happened? The temple triggered a bleeding effect. You collapsed and entered into a fugue state. Yep. 
the effect. So naturally, you dropped me into the Animus instead of, I don't know, making sure I was okay. Right. You weren't in any danger. Besides, the temple appeared to be communicating with you, and I didn't want to risk severing the connection. At least not until we knew what it wanted. Right. Of course. Son, I... No, it's fine. I get it. And I know what I'm looking for, by the way. It's a key. There's no idea where it is, though. I guess that's why she triggered the bleeding effect. She? Juno, Dad. She's talking to me. Okay, Desmond. While you were, uh, visiting Constantinople, we picked up a software update for the Animus. I'd like to run a couple of quick tests, make sure there aren't any major issues. That's nice, because... Yeah. What do you need me to do? We'll start simple. Yeah, Walk to the marker over there. Often. Walk to the marker? Bet. Alright, we're gonna run to the marker, because I'm playing. Oh, shoot. <laughs> My bad job. Yeah, yeah. I miss this. Okay, Desmond. Let's practice climbing on these objects. I do miss this, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. When the new ones came out, and this is why I actually really was happy about um, Origins still feeling like Assassin's Creed, because originally I was like, "Oh, this is not gonna be Assassin's Creed. Like they changed too much." But I mean, it is true that like we had a bunch of games where <laughs> you basically did the same stuff. So like, you do need something new and refreshing. But I don't know. I just wanted to make sure that it was still going to be Assassin's Creed. Now, how the heck? Uh, wait a minute. <laughs> this thing is tripping a little bit. Oh, we're playing around. Hold on. <laughs> And when this Assassin's Creed music started in Origins, uh, the first time I heard it was, I mean, it was probably doing it before I actually got to, but I was in a pyramid, and I was like, didn't we pass this? And they want to give it to us? That's, that's, anyways, um, but yeah, that sounds like, oh, your this way is Assassin's this Creed. Say no more. This looks like Mirror's Edge. This. That's a constraint. These are optional objectives that raise your synchronization rate. All right, Desmond, follow the on screen instructions and kill the two Templars. Yeah, because we haven't been doing this forever now. This game looks really pretty, uh, too, by the way. All you have to do here is jump the gap. Uh, she tried to play me. That wasn't going to get jumped, not like that. Alright. But yeah, y'all. So there you go. This is... This is honestly, like, out of all the earlier Assassin's Creed, this is... <laughs> Like one of the cooler like ones for doing this in this kind of situation. Synchronization levels look good now. We should be able to build the world. It's time to find out what the temple wants from you. Yeah, look at where Ethan looks like in the light. Graphics are lit. Anyways. I remember my first thoughts when I first played this, y'all. <laughs> sir. Oh, here we go. Sir. Everything all right, sir? Yes. Fine. I'm just preoccupied, that's all. Don't forget your invitation. Master Birch will be meeting you inside. Thank you. Where shall I retrieve you once you're done? Front of the Opera House. And be quick about it. Don't expect to be here long. I'll bring her round at once. That was a quick convo, but 
you know, I'm out of here, everything. Invitation, please. <laughs> this hat. Shall I take your coat, sir? No. <laughs> Damn, y'all. Ladies and gentlemen, you are requested to kindly find your seats. Damn, yeah, I'm just really psyched that these graphics are this pretty, man. Like I said, they were good in the OG one, but. Good evening, sir. This way, please. Yeah, appreciate you. Oh, that's. Probably did that the first time I played, too. Try to walk past, homie. My apologies. Evening, Haytham. Reginald? I can't tell you how happy I was to hear they'd mounted this revival. Gay's best work by far. Have you seen it before? Once. My father brought me here as a child. Though I remember little of it. I don't suppose tonight will afford me the luxury of a proper viewing either. No, I'm afraid it won't. On to business then. Do you see him? All right. Yeah, I see his punk British ass. No. <laughs> He's seated in one of the boxes above. The stairs are watched. We'll need to find another way up. I already have. I gotta say though. I don't quite <laughs> know how when we're climbing over pardons. all this. My apologies. Do people really say a thousand pardons? They probably did. Um, I have to say, I don't quite know how people don't see us climbing like on these things because we're gonna be climbing right next to the boxes. You tell me nobody looked up. Like, this better be a good ass. It must be a good ass show because. <laughs> This is different. Okay. Can y'all imagine too, like in Liberation, if y'all do check that out, which I hope y'all do, because like the graphics in Liberation are lit too. But imagine if Liberation was actually on the main consoles, it would look just as pretty as this, and it still looks really good. So. Okay, I'm gonna need y'all to excuse me. Every time I see boxes like this, I think of Abraham Lincoln getting clapped. Of course, that was a hundred years later, almost hundred years later. All right. Uh, oh, I forgot. This is how you pick the locks in this. There we go. Hold on. There it is. There it is. <laughs> oh, they don't make you repeatedly tap it now. I guess they were like, that was unnecessary. You used to have to like, repeatedly tap it. And now they're like, nah, just click it. <laughs> Alright. Um. Okay. Civilian. They should at least give us the brother's um <laughs> stage name, like whatever character he's playing. Okay. I had to check and see if maybe. You know, you gotta check. Oh, those pretty sucks. This one, sorry. Blood. Alright. I'll go this way back. Hey, Phil. 
You should have come to me. We would have found another way. Yes. But then you would have known. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. As am I. I'm gonna start by saying that's wild different. You gonna know, kill somebody dad in front of them and they'd be like, shh. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Bruh. Yeah, that, that, that was wild. Come, please. Dude said yes, but then you would have no, like. They started tackling random ass folk. But you know what was crazy was the look on homie's face when he noticed it was Haven. Ooh, this one. That's how you know how dangerous these folks are. People are like, you can't get away from these dudes. They're gonna kill you once they've decided <laughs> that you're a target. That's a wrap. It's like John Wick. Excuse me, sir. I just marked someone. I need to get out of here. Hey. Sheesh, this dude went sprinting. Was that a guard? Some of these people look mad no, suspicious. <laughs> yeah, that was a. Oh, damn. Yeah, nah. They grabbed everybody but me. Excuse me, I need to get outside to my carriage. And how was the opera? Rather dull, truth be told. Shall we be off then? Aye. To fleet and bribe. By your command. Fascinating. Gentlemen, I hold in my hand a key. And if this book is to be believed, it will open the doors of a storehouse built by those who came before. Ah, yes. Those who ruled, reigned, and vanished from the world. Do we know what it is that will be held within? It could contain certain knowledge. Perhaps a weapon, or something as yet unknown, unfathomable in its construction and purpose. It could be any of these things, or none of them. They are still an enigma, these precursors. But of one thing I am certain. Whatever waits behind those doors shall prove a great boon to us all. Or our enemies, should they find it first. They won't. You've seen to that. I assume you know where this storehouse is? Ah, Mr. Harrison. Gentlemen. How fair your calculations? I believe the site lies somewhere within this region. That's a lot of ground to cover. My apologies. Were that I could be more accurate. That's all right. It suffices for a start. And that is why we've called you here, Master Kenway. We'd like for you to travel to America, locate the storehouse, and take possession of its contents. I'm yours to command, although a job of this magnitude will require more than just myself. Of course. Upon this paper are the names of five men sympathetic to our cause. Each is also uniquely suited to aid you in your endeavor. With them at your side, you will want for nothing. Well, then I'd best be on my way. I knew our faith in you was not misplaced. We've booked you passage to Boston. Your ship leaves at dawn. Go forth, Haytham, and bring honor to us all. Yeah, suck it. Um... Yeah, yeah, I apologize for the silence, but you know, I'm trying to see the cutscenes, even though a lot of y'all have either played this 
or are playing it now or have seen it, but still. Alright y'all, this is where I'm going to end this part. I hope y'all enjoyed this part, you know, of course we're going to do this full walkthrough as well. Because, why not, you know, Assassin's Creed 3? That's my ish. Um, Assassin's Creed is my ish, so. Yeah, we'll see y'all in the next video. Peace. Mm -hmm.